my role as a coach within this team is, I guess, primarily sort of create a, a direction and help with the focus for what we're doing as a group and put a plan together around that. Um, and then on top of that, I think there's a bigger picture, which is sort of the psychological piece, which is creating a team environment and hopefully getting all of us working on the same page and helping each other be better team, which I believe will make the guys better as individuals competing. I guess the best, my, one of my best coaching practices, or as a group, I think that we do well, is we communicate effectively and we come at it from a few different angles. But I think everyone recognizes and um, appreciates a little different angle. Oftentimes we're talking about the same thing with a different angle. Because ultimately it's all about figuring out how to communicate with the athlete so that they can make a change. And I think as a group we're diverse. There's a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge. And we come at things from a little bit differently. I don't demand you know guys to coach the way I do by any means. And I think that's, uh, that's a real strength of ours. You know, my opinion on that is it's really about knowing the people you're working with, and that process takes time. You know, you can't ask for the respect. You, you have to earn it, and you have to learn how people operate. You have to learn what makes them stressed, what makes them excited, what makes them angry, anything. So I think the more you learn sort of about the way people operate, especially athletes, the better you can become a teacher and and the better you can help them become their own coach as well. I don't think I'd change my style. I think my style is my style. I don't I don't try to be a different coach for one guy versus another, but your approach is always different. So for me, one guy I may approach um, in a very positive way in a little bit more sensitive way to his ego than another guy might I might be straight at at the fact it's like you are really skiing with no intensity today I'm not impressed um, I need to see you ramp it up because you um, this is far from who you can be and another guy you may have to kind of massage that angle a little bit and say you know I really need you to you need to step up your game here so that you can you can put down runs that you can learn from when you raise. So I guess my style doesn't change. Well, I'd say if it's what you love doing, follow your heart. I mean, I love doing it. It's a, it's a wonderful lifestyle. It's tough if you have a family, but I think it's also very rewarding. It's, um, there's a lot of hard work, but there's a lot of great people in the industry, and it's a small world see the same people over and over for years and years and uh, I love sport so for me it's it's an avenue to stay in sport and and I also am really intrigued with the psychology of, of sport and I think coaching involves those two elements hugely so I encourage you if that's what you're into do it I guess the last thing I would say is if you are an aspiring coach Never be afraid to, to go and talk to another coach because I think there's a lot of people that have been doing it for a long time and all of us that I know of are more than willing to talk to another coach and answer questions or at least give our perspective. And I think uh, oftentimes younger level coaches or athletes working with development or any other club level, they may, at least it, sometimes it feels like they're they're a little scared to come and talk to us, and they shouldn't be at all, because we'd be happy to talk to anyone at any time.